Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Jack Sigma, who is the salary cap reward for round two of season four here in NBA 2K24, my team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. We hit 18K a couple days ago. Really appreciate all the recent support on the channel. And um, yeah, would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Also, give a, want to give a massive shout out to my boy John for letting me hop on his account to record games gameplay with this sigma card excited to try him out because his release is always exceptional in 2k and i do think there is a very good chance that this card is really really good so excited to try him out but with that being said without further ado let's hop right into it sigma coming in at six foot 11 at power forward or center 92 offense 95 defense um he it does have a shoe on him so his three balls boosted from an 87 to a 91 as a 90 free throw 80 driving duck 85 standing duck 90 block 80 steal 84 perimeter 92 interior 78 base speed is low the speed of ball and the xl are really low but you're just gonna have to not handle the ball with him much gonna have to keep that in mind 84 lateral quickness as well uh i'm interested to see how he plays at the five though i know he's a little undersized but I think that's his best position. 10 hops include back down punisher, drop stepper, master postman, claymore, anchor post lockdown, box up beast, rebound chaser, and a movable enforcer. So at least he's got that anchor and movable enforcer post lockdown combination. That's really helpful. Um, 23 golds as well include badges like poster, as a rise with catch and shoot, corner specialist, bailout, chase down, interceptor, brick wall, big driver, bulldozer, uh, bronze green machine, pick dodger. Those might be added to be honest. But overall, Sigma, I mean, he's looking good. He really does. And the thing about Sigma that I think people aren't really thinking about that is one of the things that makes him one of the best cards likely at the shooting guard position in the entire game or not the shooting guard position at the center position in the entire game is his shooting ability i mean he has a release that is absolutely elite not just by center standards but by general card standards although i do need to turn all this stuff off real quickly um, but yeah as y'all can see i mean this jump shot is incredibly smooth it is fast straight up and down easy to green incredibly consistent one of the best releases in the game probably consistency wise period not just at the center position so his pick and pop ability is going to be close to unmatched even without limitless range just in terms of having an absolutely butter jump shot and having to respect him off the pick and pop combine that with Elite interior defense and solid finishing ability, and I do think you have a really good center, even if he's not going to be quite as dominant on the interior as a couple of the Wimby, Embiid, D-Rob type of guys might be. Not quite there size-wise, but size is less important this year for sure, and while he doesn't have the greatest speed either, the shooting and the defense looks elite, and I'm super excited to try this card because this release is just absolute butter and it's going to make the sigma card probably the best salary cap player we've had since like season one legitimately top into a game see what he can do all right we're going up against bloody taxer in this gameplay and bloody taxer does not have a very good team brandon jennings deandre and james jones james worthy and bill russell that is not a very good squad um and i think sigma honestly should be able to cook Aiton might be the best card in this team but i still do believe this should be a pretty easy matchup and we'll see uh, i'm trying out penny in this game i don't use penny much but we're gonna give him a run a little bit of run in this game we're gonna see what he can do man stop pop oh okay is that open is that green oh my gosh that's not a bad shot at all either not a bad way to start off the game i don't personally believe but it doesn't result in a bucket and that's okay um come down here and let's go beautiful got that x switch off beautiful stuff see if we can stay in front of Aiden um he's just running around and throwing it out of bounds okay weird not a very good possession to start off with it had no spacing whatsoever um don't think his offense I don't think his offense is going to be much of a threat which doesn't surprise me much with the team that he's got but let's go pick and pop let's see what we can get going man attack downhill get through this screen and let's go towards the rim catch pump fake stop I'm shooting this one as well stop and pop jack sigma that's a green light and there's our first open three ball of the game and it's knocked down good shot by mr sigma greens the three ball and let's play the slip here rotate over with sigma beautiful we can guard two that's good yep stay in the corner and we'll go under here it is james jones though so i gotta make sure i get up on him to contest contest late beautiful we're good get through the screen if he shoots that it's just a really tough shot i'm not even gonna lie uh and i can x switch chat on Dayton and we're we're in front honestly I felt like he had nothing open whatsoever really at any point in that possession so good defense right there um let's see if we can keep that going honestly terrible pass that's a steal and we're running the floor in transition let's see if we can deck Sigma to the corner for a for a pull up and no I guess he'll just catch it and get fouled that works he is a good standy duck I mean this card is not a liability on the interior offensively I will say in previous years uh really the last couple years in 2k at this point by this point in the year I would have said a six foot seven or a six foot eleven center is probably actually too small to be put at the center position but at this point this year I don't feel like height is nearly as important it's been the last couple years and so I feel like you can do a lot 
lot more with a guy like Sigma. And I mean, he does have half drop stepper, half back down, half anchor post lockdown. Those types of badges on Hall of Fame which does mean he is one of the more complete um, interior centers in the game in terms of having those badges on both ends of the court, not to mention, obviously, the absolutely incredible jump shot that is the best part about the card. Good rip by Kobe. We're just flooding right now. Starting to get a little floody. Pump fake. He flies by again. Sigma drive to the rim. And let's just get inside again. Drop step. Nobody. We are spacing is not there. Uh, the way that he's jumping at everything is actually making getting the three ball off a little bit more challenging. There we go. Fly by again. That should be enough space. That one's green beautiful stuff easy three ball jack sigma this dude jumps at everything and that has led to a couple of open three balls we take advantage and get another one there and that is beautiful you can shoot that with james jones he is a great shooter but i don't trust this dude as a in terms of his gameplay so far he's running a play nothing there uh yeah no this dude's completely caged i feel bad this guy is not his team is not good enough nor is his skill level at this point and my team good enough to where he should really be playing online honestly uh and that leads to a matchup where he's just gonna get dogged out but yeah i do think jack sigma completeness wise at center i mean besides the ball handling ability when you think of a guy with an elite release who's gonna defend on the interior at a very high level and then play really well offensively on the interior as well jack sigma is the type of card that comes to mind especially considering like i know 611 isn't incredible size but i don't see why he can't compete against the best centers in the game there's no center like Wimby at 7'4", even though he's 7'4", is not overpowered by any means in terms of his size, I don't think. Will Yao be when Yao comes out? Maybe, but Yao isn't out right now, so we don't even know that right now. So for as of right now, there's no center that Jack Sigma can't guard defensively, really. I mean, I know he's not incredibly fast, but I don't see why this card can't isn't a top five literally i don't see why he's not a top five center in the game with how good his release is how versatile of a defender he is and the fact that he actually does have legitimate athletic ability as well i don't see a reason that's a really nice dunk animation by the way i don't see a reason this isn't a top five center in the game even at only six foot eleven with this type of a release it's the best big man release literally in the game right now i just flopped and gave wide open three and he didn't shoot it i don't know what i am watching i'm like trying to let this dude score at this point i want him to gain gain confidence shoot the ball I want I want you to gain confidence as an off as an online player and I'm literally gonna have to okay well I feel bad for this guy because I'm watching him try to learn this game literally online and I just I could see that being a challenge I'm giving him another wide open three he misses that one too yeah this has not been a very competitive game but that does not take away from how impressive the Sigma card is. I will say that speed of ball looks a lot higher than 68 on that push out dribble that Aiton card is not slow and he ran right around him and got stopped got to the rim I don't see why jack sigma can't be a top five center why he isn't a top five center in the game there's no reason really here the biggest complaints are that he can't ball handle really but i mean he's done a little bit of it in this game and obviously we know he's not a primary ball handler but literally no center in this game is um and then he is kind of slow but he doesn't feel slow he doesn't look slow he hasn't i don't know i think this card's elite and i don't see why people I, I think you should run this card, honestly. If you don't have D-Rob, Embiid, Wimby, although everybody should have Embiid, obviously, as their starting center. If you don't have D-Rob and Wimby, I don't see why Sigma wouldn't be your backup. Because, like, outside of that, I, I think he's as good as any other center in the game. And D-Rob and Wimby are great cards, but they... If you don't have him, there's really no need. Like, I don't see why the Sigma and his shooting ability can't be one of the very best. Like, he definitely is one of the very best centers in the game, simply based off of the release. 12 points, one rebound, five of six, and two of three from three in this game was a really good performance as well. I'm a big fan of the Sigma. I know our opponent wasn't the best, but I think this card's a beast, and I highly recommend it if you need a center. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.